Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Okapi people are some of the oldest animal individuals on Earth, known only by the local humans who used to call them the African unicorn. Please continue watching to find out more. Continue to eat meat so you won't ever have to see the sun, the moon, or stars again. Mbote nabinu, osali malamu, nasepeli koyeba yo. That means, hello everyone, how are you? I'm pleased to meet you. Ilingala, one of the common languages of the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm Sylvie, a vegan Okapi person from the sacred Ituri forest in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The amiable humans and animal people of the Democratic Republic of Congo are jubilantly wishing you peace and happiness. Welcome to our show, Okapi People, the mysterious resident of the Ituri Forest on Supremaster Television. Today, I'm excited to be your guide as we feature my Okapi family. We Okapi people are a mysterious and elusive species. At first glance, you may understandably think we are related to zebra fork because of the reddish brown and cream stripes on our hindquarters. Can you guess why we have these markings? I will happily tell you later. Okapi and giraffe people are the only two members of the giraffidi family. It is believed that we evolved from the same ancestor, the Prodemotherium, around 25 million years ago and have developed different features due to our living environments. That is also the reason Ukapi persons are called forest giraffes, Congolese giraffes, or zebra giraffes. Choosing to live far away from any human habitat is why although we are one of the oldest animal people on earth, we were known only by our local human friends who used to call us the African unicorn. This is also why, surprisingly, most people in Africa have only seen an okapi in a photo. Even spending days or weeks in the forest, it is not guaranteed that you would see us. Owing to the very dense forests we call home and our shy nature, not very much is known about us and how big our family is. Humans estimate there are around 35,000 of us, but it is just an estimate. In 1901, we were recognized as a species and given the name Okapi John Stoney. Okapi is from the word Oapi, derived from one of the native languages, which means animal people. John Stoney is from the name of Sir Harry John Stone, the British explorer and botanist who first identified us as a new species. As the only living relative of the towering giraffe people, we share many similar features. We both have cloven hooves, short, skin-covered horns and long necks. Did you know our giraffe cousins have the longest necks on earth? We also have virtually identical skulls, except ours are smaller. Okapi people, like our elegant giraffe people relatives, have enormous upright ears, which are very sensitive and can catch even the slightest sound from all directions. Another feature we share is our super long 30 to 36 cm prehensile flexible bluish tongues. This is our specialized eating utensil. We use our tongues to pluck delicious buds and young leaves from the trees. It is also a great grooming tool to keep our beautiful velvety soft short coat in perfect condition. 
And as funny as it might sound, we also use our tongue to wash our eyelids and clean our ears. We are the only mammals in the world that do this. Unlike giraffe people who live in savannas and open woodlands, we prefer to live in deep and dense forests. You will only find us in the heart of the Ituri tropical rainforest in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where the foliage grows so dense that very little sunlight can penetrate. We Okapi individuals are well adapted to the lush dark surroundings. With shorter legs and necks, our physique enables us to dodge and duck under the numerous low-hanging branches in our dense forest home. We are much smaller than our giraffe relatives, standing at about 1.5 meters. We have unusual markings on our face, pale white in color, and with a dull reddish cast on our forehead and ears. Our unique deep brown fur is very thick, with a beautiful velvet appearance and is oily. This helps to keep us dry in even the heaviest of rainfalls, with the water rolling right off our bodies. Do you remember the dark reddish brown fur with zebra like white stripes on our hindquarters and at the top of our legs that we mentioned earlier? A very striking look. Well, these are our disguise as we stand foraging in the forest, the mimic, the sunlight filtering through the thick canopy. It also helps guide young okapi babies as they follow their mothers through the dark forest. Our males have small horns on top of their heads called ossicones covered with skin. They are short and grow backward preventing them from tangling in the forest growth. However, we females don't have horns but instead have small cute knobby bumps on our heads. You know something about kashrut or Jewish dietary laws. If you make suffering for the animals, it's not kosher or permitted foods for kashrut. The Reverend Rabbi Asa Kesar, vegan. Loving viewers, we will pause here for a healthy plant-based snack. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We will be right back to continue our journey. Welcome back to our show, Okapi people, the mysterious residents of the Ituri forest on Supreme Master Television. It is known that we Okapi people prefer to be alone, but there are times when we get together in small groups for a bit of fun play, eating and grooming. A way of knowing if another Okapi friend has been through our home territory is by way of a gland on each foot that secretes a black tar-like substance wherever we walk, thus leaving a trail which we pick up with our excellent sense of smell. Male Okapi people don't really want other males in their region, but they welcome us females passing through in search of food. Our favorite time for foraging is the afternoon into the evening, following pruning lines through the forest made by generations of our kind. We Okapi females don't travel far, but our males can roam up to 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers a day in search of food. A healthy diet of leaves, buds, fruits, twigs, and even clay and charcoal for minerals detoxifies us and keeps us fit and beautiful. We are ruminants. Do you know what a ruminant is? Like the giraffe and cow people, we have four stomachs. Yes, four stomachs. This aids in digesting tough plants by regurgitating partially digested food and chewing it again. To communicate, Okapi people make vocalizations similar to a chuff, moan or bleat depending on the situation. (laughs) 
When a Nukapi mother is about to give birth, she will retreat deep into the dense forest on her own. The moms usually give birth to a single offspring at a time. Conservation scientists discovered a sound inaudible to humans or other forest-dwelling animal people. They call it infrasonic. Infrasonic communication is often used between a Nukapi mother and her baby. Whilst leaving her precious one in a prepared nest in the dense forest, this allows the mother to check on her baby without alerting others. Okapi people babies markings are just like their parents except the little darlings have a short fringe of hair along their spine which disappears after about a year. Standing and nursing within a very short time after birth, they are full of enthusiasm and eager to explore the forest. Sadly, due to needing vast amounts of healthy dense forests to survive, it is becoming increasingly difficult for us to live a secluded life. Our rainforest home is shrinking because of human activities such as logging, sludge and burn agriculture, and mining. Unfortunately, we are now on the red list of the International Union for Conservation of Nature or IUCN as an endangered species with only an estimated 10,000 to 15,000 individuals remaining in nature. But thanks to our human friends and their efforts to protect our populace, Okapi people are now under the protection of law in Congo. In 1987, Okapi Conservation Project, or OCP, was founded by John Lucas to guard our people. The OCP now manages the Okapi Wildlife Reserve, or OWR, which consists of roughly 20% of the Ituri Forest area. The reserve is home to a variety of wildlife and around 5,000 Okapi residents. We are very grateful to the rangers who watch over us by patrolling the reserve and also educating the people about the importance of protecting nature and their beautiful forests. We truly thank OCP for also working with local farmers to reduce slash and burn agriculture, which is the most significant cause of our habitat loss. According to a recent report by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations or FAO, an alarming 90% of global deforestation is driven by animal people livestock grazing and animal people factory operations that are cruel to us and our friends. If you would like to rescue our homes, you can simply stop eating animal people meat and go vegan. Did you know your old cell phones contain coltan which is a mineral mined within Okapi habitat? Hence, to help us preserve our habitat, you could recycle your old phones. That would be so wonderful. To aid Okapi people and so many of our beautiful animal people friends around the world, Adopting a plant-based vegan diet is truly love in action, thus saving our beautiful planet. We Okapi people love you. No to vegan. Prepared for hell. Thank you, support you viewers, for joining us on our show today. Coming up next is last call to turn vegan and repent sincerely part one of six on between master and disciples right after noteworthy news may your day be filled with god's love and peace our programs offer many languages 
please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash aw. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com barre oblique aw. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada aw. รายการของเรามีให้หลายภาษาโปรดดู suprememastertv.com ทับ schedule และ suprememastertv.com ทับ aw